Hi super fans, it's me Hudson. I'm here to talk about a new book I've just read. Um, not new to me, not necessarily new to you, and I'd like to hear what your opinions are in the comments below. I was recommended this by John Green, um, who is one of my favourite authors. Uh, it's in one of his videos from about a year ago or so, and he's talking about a book that he'd read which he felt was really enjoyable. So the book is The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. It's published in 2012. It is a young adult novel and it's a book about a um, girl meets boy on a plane, girl loses boy when they come off the plane, girl finds boy again. That's as simple as it gets really, you know, so it's a classic love story and you can kind of tell almost from the, the instant they meet, which is within the first chapter, that something's going to happen. It happens over 24 hours, so it's not as if it's a whole relationship, but it's the beginning and it's kind of the beginning of happy ever after, I suppose. I don't want to give anything away, so I'm not going to kind of talk about what I think the book is ultimately about, because that'll just give you everything, unfortunately. But it, it's about life, and it's about love. Um, it's it's really sweet. Uh, it's a very easy read, I have to say. And I think one of the things that I most enjoyed about it was um, how deeply you are into the character of Hadley, who is a New York girl who uh, is coming over to England for the first time for a weekend to see her, her dad marry a new woman who she's never met, and obviously all the new family and the new friends of her dad's uh, are all there, so she's kind of really anticipating um, not having a great time. Which is why she decides to go for a really short weekend um, to get it over and done with, even though it's her first time in England. And she's afraid of flying, um, and she's claustrophobic in general, and everything seems to start going wrong as soon as she arrives at the, at the airport, so she misses her plane by four minutes. Um, she can still see it, it's, it's not even gone yet, but she, they won't let her on. So she sits down and waits for the next one, and as it happens, um, she meets this boy at the airport, who's English, and um, his name is uh, Oliver, and um, he is, you know, her knight in shining armour, in a very small way, and they just get talking. So, so far so cute. So when they're on the plane, the woman that they sit next to thinks that they're a couple, and it's really sweet how they kind of play into it. But it isn't cutesy, it doesn't make me, it didn't make me squirt. I think really it's probably, it's probably quite light, it's not a an incredibly deep novel about love and falling in love and kind of um, all the things around being alive. But it really does get into the, the head of this 17 year old who really is, you know, she's inexperienced but she's completely conflicted over the way that her dad has left her mum and is essentially just, just ran away with another woman. Although obviously we know that there's more to the story than that so it's not as simple as she's been abandoned by her dad and it's all about her. It's a novel about growing up as much as it's about, about loving. There's some really clever bits of um, resolution with her dad and even with her mum, even though her mum doesn't go because obviously it's, it's just too, too much for her um, and in some ways it, it the cleverness of the novel is about how Hadley grows up how she becomes a woman and, and an adult and makes decisions and helps others to make decisions it's worth reading that's all I'm gonna say. You won't need to read it again because it was a uh, quite short read and, and um, you know I read it in less than two hours. Really strong characters but I, I think that there's there's not more that I can glean from it but I think if you're 14, 15, 16, 17, maybe 18 you'll get a whole load of things out of it. I'd be interested to hear what you say so leave some comments below and find me via other bits of social media and if you liked the video then please click the like button um, or subscribe and please share and I'll see you next time. Bye!